How's it going everybody? Welcome back and in today's video I'll be focusing on how you can host a website using a web hosting provider and in this case I'm going to be using Hostinger to demonstrate. This is a pretty affordable and user-friendly hosting provider that is perfect for beginners and experienced webmasters alike. Um, it does have a lot of user-friendly features and it has all the advanced features and plugins that you would like to have in uh, a web hosting provider and a whole lot of hosting options, whether you're looking for regular web hosting, cloud hosting, WordPress hosting, VPS hosting, so on and so forth. And by the end of this video, you'll have a very good idea of how to get your website up and running using a web hosting provider. Again, in this case, we're using Hostinger. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Hostinger, you'll find everything you need in the description down below, including a little discount code. Okay, so that is basically the first step, which is signing up to a uh, hosting provider. You can go to Hostinger again, by clicking the link in the description down below, you'll be able to claim that discount. Choose the hosting plan that best suits your needs. Hostinger offers cloud, uh, VPS, as well as WordPress specific plans. I know most of you will probably go with the uh, shared, the regular shared web hosting, especially if you're a beginner, you're probably just wanna go with uh, shared web hosting. Uh, I would recommend the most popular option right here. It uh, gives you a free domain. Um, and if you don't have a domain, yeah, you will need a domain uh, because that is the second step, which is part of the sign up process. You'll be prompted to register a domain name. Your domain name is the web address people use to find your website, uh, like google.com, hostinger.com, whatever it is.com. So choose something unique and memorable that represents your website's content. And if you already have a domain name, you can choose to connect it to your Hostinger account during the signup process. Once you've signed in, you will have this dashboard right here. This is what it looks like. You'll receive a welcome email from Hostinger with your login details, and you can use this information to log into your Hostinger account, where you'll find the control panel, which is called the H panel in this case, which is a user-friendly version of the traditional C panel. This is where you manage your websites, files, databases, email accounts, and more. The first thing you're going to want to do is install the CMS or the content management system. And you do that by going down to website and clicking on auto installer. And over here, click on WordPress, enter the required credentials, including the website title, click next, and you'll be good to go from there. I don't need to do that because I've already done it. One of the really cool things about uh, Hostinger is that you do get this feature, which is called auto installer. Um, it's a one click installation for uh, WordPress, uh, WooCommerce and Joomla. Instead of having to manually install uh, the CMS, you can just one click install it using Hostinger. And once you've done that, within a few minutes, you'll be able to access your website. So let's manage the website. You're just going to go to edit website. You're going to have this option right here. I already have um, a website example. So I'll click on edit website. Just go to edit website. Here you can start customizing your website uh, by logging into your WordPress dashboard. And you can alter your theme by clicking on appearance. You can add pages on add new right here. You can create blog posts right here. You can add plugins that can be very useful. Plugins are definitely going to be something that you're going to want to look into to make your life much easier, whether you're trying to customize using Elementor, or maybe you're using an SEO tool or Google Analytics or whatever it is. Plugins are super useful and I encourage you to kind of look into them. Some of the best plugins out there like All-in-One SEO and Elementor. So spend some time exploring the WordPress dashboard and customizing your website to your liking. There's a little bit of a learning curve right here. So take your time. Um, and you can definitely skip a lot of it by just going to themes or Elementor here, just maybe paying uh, to upgrade and uh, getting a theme that is for the most part optimized in every way, visually and technically speaking, so that you don't have to do much besides switching up some text and images. But of course, you can still use the uh, free themes, so that's still an option. Okay, next up, you wanna set up your email account. So we're gonna go back to the um, dashboard right here and click on emails. 
click on email accounts. And this is where you're going to manage, click manage if it's not finished. And over here, I can either use my free email or get a business email, depending on uh, what I want. Obviously, you're not going to get too many benefits with the free email. Uh, but if you opt for the business email, which is uh, roughly a dollar a month, you'll get all kinds of benefits. So let's head back here. And the next step is going to be connecting your domain to your hosting or account. So if you registered your domain separately from Hostinger, you'll need to connect the two by updating your domain's name servers. And what you want to do is you want to go to your domain registrar's website and navigate to your domain management area. Find the option to update your name servers, often called DNS or name servers. Replace the existing name servers with the ones provided by Hostinger. And you can find these in your Hostinger's account H panel or in the welcome email. And in the H panel, we can just go to domains right here. And there we go. Here are the name servers that we're going to be using. So once you update your name servers using Hostinger's name servers in your domain registrars, that's only if you're using a domain name from a domain registrar that is not Hostinger. If you're using Hostinger, then you don't really have to do this. Once you've done that, it's time to test the website. So you can open a web browser. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this right here. I haven't really done much with uh, this website, so you're not really gonna see much, but let's go ahead and test it out. And as you can tell, uh, your website should be live and make sure to test your site on different devices and browsers to ensure everything looks uh, and functions as expected. But again, I really haven't done anything with this website, so there's not much that you're gonna see. Uh, and uh, that is pretty much it. Oh, and make sure that your WordPress is uh, updated. So you can check on the dashboard right here. As you can tell, it says WordPress 6.2 is available. Please update now. So I'm gonna go ahead and update that. And so besides that, congratulations. Now you have the information, the basic information to launch your website using a web hosting provider, specifically with Hostinger. Again, I like to use Hostinger because it's super easy to use. And they have this version of the C panel, which is called H panel. It's just an easier way to manage everything using this panel rather than the cluttered look of C panel, especially if you're a beginner, I would definitely recommend this. And as you become more comfortable with the process, you can continue to refine and expand your site to better serve your visitors. Remember, building a great website takes time and effort. So be patient and enjoy the journey. And there are so many things to consider before you publish your website. So make sure it looks as good as it can look. So that is pretty much it for this video. Again, if you guys are interested in hosting or you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as a full review if you'd like to learn a little bit more about it in the description down below. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything web hosting. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.